The Journal of Henry Hurlsworth, 30th of June, in the year of our Lord, 1809, Altier, in Spain. I am Henry Hurlsworth, investigator into the shadows that dwell in the shadow's shadow. It is two days since the great events at Talavera, and I find myself in the Spanish foothills. Reports had come in from peasants around a small farm holding called Altier. They spoke to me about strange footprints found moving through the farmland and cattle being dragged away with their necks broken. A young farmer's daughter had spied something huge and dark with red eyes peering through the window of her dwelling. I spoke to Gabriella and told her that surely thus this must be the devil's work and would need investigation. So we marched with the crew of the Whitby into the mountains in search of evil. As we approached Altier, we found the peasants moving away from the farmstead. A crazed old man screamed in my ear. He said that there was a demon in the village, and also a unit of French soldiers were nearby. Gabriella called Midshipman Mansfield, who spread his troops over the southern approach to the dwellings. The native scout, Swooping Hawk, headed off into the forest, as silent as the night and as swift as a flowing stream. The sun was high in the sky when we formed a line of advance. I am no soldier, but admit I was ready for anything as we stepped towards the silent farm. Almost immediately, I saw something sticking up from the earth near the cattle pen. It looked awkward and unwieldy, as if it didn't belong there. Ignoring the shouts to remain in cover from the midshipman marshal, I rushed forward and pulled it from the dry and parched earth. To my horror, what I pulled from the ground was a rotten arm of a long deceased peasant came away and, and I felt my head spin as I dropped it again to the earth in a bid to stop myself from fainting. It was then that the air was filled with shot. Oh, looking up, I saw at the other side of the farmstead a group of French grenadiers in a firing line and suddenly saw Maureen Swanson take a shot in the leg which only courage stopped him from going to ground. This had suddenly become a battle. More French soldiers appeared on the other side of the village and, and the Whitby's crew returned fire. In the open square at the centre of the farm, a French officer suddenly bolted into the middle of the space. His disregard for his own safety incredible. Marine Swanson, bleeding heavily in the leg, lifted his musket and with a skill of which I am much in awe, shot the man in the chest. He fell to the ground, surely dead, but then slowly reached under his jacket and pulled out a Bible, smoking with gunshot, saved by the grace of God. The officer crawled along the ground and pulled something from the earth, I could not see what it was, but the veranda above where we were standing suddenly collapsed, and a creature from the seven pits of hell leapt out on the offensive. Bigger than the biggest man, this creature, this, this hobgoblin, rushed towards Gabriella, who pulled out her sword. The creature fought with a frenzied claws, sweeping through the air and slashing at the face of the Portuguese gorilla. I staggered forward to help and pulled out my pistol. Gabriella, her flaming red hair whipping around her head, stabbed the creature which staggered back into the square where I opened fire with both my pistols. With luck and canny, I hit it in the head and it fell to the ground, stone dead. Gabriella turned to me, a smile on her face, which quickly turned to a frown as a shot rang out and hit her in the back, causing her to slump to her knees. I rushed towards her and cradled her in my arms as the air was rent with shot from both sides. The Bible had only bought this French officer a few more seconds of life as the dark-skinned sailor, Hobie, brought him down with a musket shot to the head. I could see the French soldiers now found themselves facing fire from the trees as well and realised that Swooping Hawk must have found a place to pepper them. A red-shirted Frenchman, who out of respect for his courage, I shall call Chemise Rouge, was blasting his musket all around the farmstead, 
but through the skill of Hobie and Marine Swanson, they were being forced back on all fronts. A woman, who I can only guess was a camp follower, rushed forward, screaming curses at the midshipman, but was taken down with a bullet to the face. With a final cry, the crew of the Whitby rushed forward in triumph, shooting a huge French officer dead and causing the others to leave the field in defeat. Gabriella was wounded, but still alive, and with relief I rushed forward to examine the corpse of the creature, only to find it had turned into dust and blown away on the wind. Today was a victory, but we uncovered little. As war screams around the Spanish hills, we will continue to investigate the darkness. May God be with you, and also the crew of the Whitby. We will need his grace in the days and weeks to come. Holdsworth. <laughs>